What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. Video out earlier, remind everybody about Gridiron Games. Uh, let's see, tomorrow night, live with overtime. So if you get a chance, stop by. It'll probably be about an hour. I'm going to try to keep them to about an hour, no more than an hour and a half on overtimes. Uh, following weekend, we will have the Discord trade night. If you're not part of Discord, uh, just go and check some of the other videos. Actually, I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a link in the description again for that as well. Video on that will come out tomorrow. So, on the screen in front of you, two pictures that have been popping around social media. I had to copy them off there so none of this writing and circling is anything I did. So that's my disclaimer right off the bat. So, again, this is from Tops. If you look at the card, it says Game Use Memorabilia uh, on the picture to the left. So this is our tops uh, triple threads. On the back, I had to blow this up. It says the relics containing this card are not from a specific game, event, or season. A lot of people are confusing this with what Panini did with the patches uh, this past two years. I want to say it was. So when you read this and you start reading through the comments, a lot of people are giving a lot of hate to Top slash Tops Fanatics, however it's being worded now. Fanatics Tops. Um, with that being said, this is still a game used memorabilia. If we break down the statement in the back onto this, this is the way I read it. The relics contain this card not for a specific game, so it could be from any game out there. Um, any, it shouldn't be any event <laughs> or season. The event is what's throwing people off, okay? Because it's saying game used memorabilia. Why is the word event back there? I think this is more than likely just a standard blurb that got put on there, and whoever was proofreading it really didn't think. They just saw the blurb and moved on. But I don't think they're trying to pull a panini on us. I would hope that these are game use. I just if you remember a lot of the game use relics had the little sticker on to it. The seal of approval was one of the series that's on to we can go in there, type in the number, it'll tell you what game they got it from, what the score was. Heck, it might even tell you everybody's batting uh thing for the game too. I have no idea. I never really looked them up. Some people really got into that stuff. But I can see where Tops is confusing people by putting game use memorabilia on the front. On the back saying the relics contain this card not from any specific game. Okay, got that part. It's not from any specific event. And when people think events, they're thinking like combine, drafts, um, pro days, whatever the heck else that you know is out there with all the rookie classes and stuff like that that they do, or a season. Be that the event that they're referring to, and I just want this to way I'm looking at is like the home run derby, or we'll say the all star game stuff like that. I don't think they consider that game or season because it's not in the statistics for the season. I think that's considered an event. At least the home run derby would be offhand. So that's why I would read and look at this. I don't think that you know. They're trying to deceive us and pull a panini on us or anything out there. But like I said, this was really circling through social media. And I was reading through a lot of comments. I mean, hundreds. And I think everybody's getting it mixed up because of what happened with panini. I think Tops is still trying to do the right thing. Or Tops Fanatics, Fanatics Tops. So, well, this was from 2021, so this would have just been Tops themselves. But I, I don't think that this is trying to, you know, pass it off that the guy came in, they mailed him a jersey, told him put it on, mail it back to us so we can cut it off type deal. I think they're still trying to, they were still trying to do the right thing at that time frame. I can't speak currently because I didn't really look up my museum box what the patches said and the cards are already gone. But again, just something I wanted to bring to light. I don't know how everybody else interprets it, so please leave your comments below. I'm curious what how everybody else looks at this, because maybe I'm looking at it wrong or reading it wrong. Everybody's going to have a different perception onto this, 
And I, I really contemplated on telling everybody about the negative uh, comments I've seen because I want to see what everybody else thought ahead of time because a lot of people might see it and be like, oh, yeah, it's not real and stuff like that there. I just think this might be one of the standard things that they used on the backs of these cards. They really didn't pay much attention to it. And what they consider event compared to what Panini considers an event might be two different classifications or definitions of the word event for them. But, yeah, I still think it's a game used memorabilia because they would, I would hope they wouldn't have that error on the front of the card. And we're talking, this is 2021 stuff, too. All right, everybody, let me know what you guys think out there. Like I said, this is just swarming around. Uh, I got tagged a few times, figured I'd post it up here. See how everybody else, what did you guys think about it, what you guys are interpreted by it and everything. I know it's kind of hard to see the uh, far right picture onto it. Because I had to blow it up to actually read what it exactly said onto it. Again, not my typing on these pictures, the smiley face onto it, or laughing face, whatever you want to say, and all that. It was just pictures I took off because I couldn't find the actual card out there. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good one. See you tomorrow's video.